What's up everyone, welcome back, it's Kongboy. In this video, I'll be explaining why companies care about and are getting involved with NFTs, and why some of the biggest brands from Coca-Cola, Nike, McDonald's, Samsung, and many others are either buying NFTs, releasing their own collection, or doing something with NFTs in some way. I'll be answering all those questions in this video. Of course, companies will always look to position themselves ahead of the curve, especially when it comes to things that are digital, since this world tends to accelerate at an even greater rate, and they don't want to be caught by surprise or left behind once things can quickly become mainstream, and especially with the rise of pandemics that turn the world even more connected in a digital way. This helps companies capture a bigger share in the digital marketing sector, which is a growing majority of the overall marketing industry. And it's not just a marketing expense, it also lets them raise money and grow their audience at the same time, while being able to do it somewhat easier than most other NFT projects, since they already have an established reputation and customers. They don't have to worry as much about convincing people that they'll deliver on their NFT roadmap, since it can be a lot more straightforward with just implementing some utility with the NFT for some already existing product or service that they offer. It also appeals better to the younger and larger generation of customers who are more interested in this sort of technology being crypto, blockchain, and NFTs. So what is a corporate NFT and what does it look like? Well, when I refer to a corporate or institutional NFT, it means the practice of large companies or brands getting involved with NFTs by either partnering with an existing NFT collection, working with a NFT creator, or launching their own NFT collection from scratch with their team. Corporate advertising has evolved through many forms throughout the recent decades, all the way from purely word of mouth for local businesses to radio ads, television ads, websites, social media marketing, and now NFT marketing. A lot of the companies that adopted NFTs earlier on tended to be the luxury clothing and fashion brands like Gucci, for example. And this isn't terribly surprising since their customers are much more familiar with hype and paying for something that they're gonna flex with. Other notable examples of early corporate NFT investors include Budweiser, which bought beer.eth, the ENS domain name, for 30 Ethereum in August of last year. Nike acquired Artifact, the creators of the Clone X collection, in December of last year, and they released the Dunk Genesis Crypto Kicks, which are their first series of digital Nike NFT sneakers, which can be upgraded and customized. Samsung partnered with Nifty Gateway, an NFT marketplace, to create a TV application for browsing, purchasing, and viewing NFTs. Louis Vuitton made a mobile game with NFTs as rewards for winning challenges. Coca-Cola released their own collectibles, so has McDonald's with their McRib collectibles, and Reddit issued NFTs for their website to be used as avatars and with other utilities. There's also this wine company called Penfolds, which has made NFT wine, and they're using the website Blockbar to allow people to buy and sell the NFT wine, but also claim it at any point for the actual physical wine bottle. It's really no surprise that these companies will spend a large amount of resources to be viewed as modern and trendy. When done correctly and in a way that makes sense for the product or service, it definitely can be beneficial for companies to release NFTs. And like I already said, it appeals to the growing younger audience that is generally more interested in tech things like crypto and NFTs. I like the idea of companies and institutions getting involved with NFTs, and I think it'll only become more popular. And I'm excited to see how it evolves and what new cool things come out in the future. That's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll catch you later.